Hey everybody, at BV Madsen here. Just a quick update on the current freaking project. So things have escalated pretty quickly on this 1994 Jeep Wrangler YJ. You can see we've been going to town on things. Instead of trying to fix those cracked and rotted out fenders, I actually just ordered a set of new ones. Surprisingly cheap, actually. Since I'm gonna be painting everything, I figured, you know what? You gotta take the hood off. You gotta paint the hood, you gotta do it right. So I went ahead and did all that. Windshield frame is also out. Front fenders. Man, a lot of opportunities here to clean up things. Uh, I'm finding it hard to uh, not start going and dealing with all these little rust spots. I've also found that getting this little uh, strip of black off this thing is going to be a massive consumption of time. As I've been diving into things, of course, I've been finding some trouble spots and dealing with those as best I can. I actually had a guy come over today and take a look at some of these areas. I'm going to need some welding done. He took a look at pretty much all the different spots, and I think I'm good. I think everything pretty minor, and I'm going to be in good shape. The first big project I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up, and I'm going to actually paint the underside of the hardtop, and then I'm going to go ahead and install new gaskets on my windows, and then I'm actually going to actually paint the hardtop as well. I'm probably going to do the hardtop this weekend, but I was also looking, and I was like... Well, you got the fenders off. You might as well replace the shocks. You might as well replace the brake lines. You might as well replace like all these different parts. What I really hate about the brake lines is that they've all been like rhino lined underneath. So I really don't have much of an idea of the condition of these lines. These shocks have been shoddily painted. And also, I mean, why not refresh it? I have access to like everything right now. I'm also going to go ahead and redo and replace the rear drum brakes on this YJ. That looks like a lot of fun. New shocks, all kinds of parts are arriving in the mail daily. At the end of the day, it's just comes down to me getting out here, spending time in the shop and starting to get things kind of cleaned up. Like in here, there was a gasket or a little seal here for the hood. It was just painted over with orange. So I went ahead and got a new one of those and now I gotta get in here and get all the remnants out. I think that's a good job for a wire wheel. For the most part, all the bolts came out when pulling the front fenders. I only broke two bolts. There's one right there. It's probably the best one to break because that's gonna be pretty easy to drill out and I can find a new bolt for that. Over here, I've got my new windshield frame. I've got new glass, I've got new seals. I mean, parts are piling up really fast. I'm really gonna need to start taping things off and getting paper and plastic over stuff because I certainly don't wanna mess up this really awesome interior that I got done completing earlier this winter. <laughs> parts, 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 product, 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 all kinds of things are showing up every single day. The biggest thing that I'm noticing on this Jeep Wrangler project is space. I mean, the mechanical stuff, the wrenching at the end of the day, the painting, all of that, it, it is what it is, but it really comes down to space. Just everything is so much freaking bigger and it's really stretching my limits on this like single stall garage. So I'm having to get pretty darn creative. I did get some cool new stickers for the shop. I think there's gonna be a lot of MacGyver in it going on. Oh, and for those of you wondering, I'm gonna up my game. I'm gonna learn how to use a proper spray gun on this. This is gonna translate well on a lot of motorcycle builds in the future. I'm actually really looking forward to learning how to do this. Finally gonna put that air compressor to proper use. If you don't hear from me for a while, there's a good reason. It's because I'm gonna be spending a ton of time with this sander, getting this thing where it needs to be to start laying down some primer, some paint, and all that good stuff. I've definitely upped the ante on the wrenching. <laughs> so I'm giving myself pep talks right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Quick update, and uh, I'll keep you posted along the way. Be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit up the Keep On Wrenching group on Facebook. 
And you know what? If you made it this far, you deserve a free sticker. Head on over to KeepOnWrenching.com. Oh, I might as well tell you, too. This thing's going to be satin black. It's going to be pretty sweet. We'll see you in the next video or live stream.